What is going on, guys? Skip here, and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today, we are back with some Red Ball Cricket as the Nottinghamshire Outlaws take on Gloucestershire down at Gloucester Park. Now, if you did join us in the last couple of episodes, you would have seen that the Outlaws and Pijma Pants claim glory in the one-day plate. The boys put their heads down, got to work, and ultimately come out with the trophy in the end. But it is back to four four day format and the Outlaws find themselves in a real good position on the ladder this season. They've played the three games they've won the two, they've lost the one and a monster, monster result here today will see us solidify our spot in the top two. But that's enough from me let's continue with the big dog in his career. I'll catch us at the toss. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll make 100 in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in, come and say g'day. And let's continue to put Cricket back on the map. So here we are, ladies and gents. Welcome to Gloucestershire Park for this Red Bull four-day match between the Outlaws and Gloucester. Wayne Kerr stands in the middle officiating this one. And as you can see, the captaincy has gone back to Haseeb Hamid. Pishma sitting himself back at number five and just working his way back into this after a massive sesh in the white ball form. The coin goes up, the Outlaws call heads. We win the toss and on a hard, dusty one. It will be interesting to see what Seeb does here. He's chosen to bat. We're throwing the boys in the deep end. Ladies and gents, get behind the big red. Let's see how he goes today. Well, that's why you don't give the bloke the captaincy. Pijma Pant walks to the middle at 34 for three. Big Wayne Kerr stands and he is ready to give. Sure, he's taken three and Pijma's first ball. He just steps forward, goes bang to mid off for no run. Well, it's going to be an interesting time, this. Tom Moore's down the other end, one off 12. Two balls left in the 11th. We've got all day to bat, and Pish gets forward and defends. Well, don't really know why the captain's armband's been taken off him, but the roller coaster continues for the big dog from Poland. He steps on this one. He runs to the vacant cover region, gets off the mark, and the boys are flying. It's 35 for three after 11. Jared Warner comes into the attack for his first over of the match. He goes around the wicket, a place where Pijma struggled before as we belt this one to mid-off again. No run. Do you call it a white ball hangover? I don't know. Just give yourself some time, young fella, and enjoy the ride. He steps across, gets the bouncer, and he plays and misses. Interesting tactic. He takes one little step back into his crease. He just wants to see what this dust ball does. He gets a length ball again. He's just going to play boring to start. And that brings about a change in the angle of Warner. He comes back over the wicket. Gets short to Pige and he tries to work him off his hip. It's too slow this wicket and he gets nothing on it. I hope Haseeb is happy with his decision now. He's probably gone in for a quick shower and said, hey, boys, go and do what you need to do as Piz rocks back onto the heels. He works this behind square. Jared Warner, go and read the report, brother. It's four. Well, that is number one for the innings, and he just continues his form. What a shot from the big man. Plenty more of that, please. Well, you can see the wicket's just a touch slow, hence why we're sitting back a little bit. We get a length ball, and this time Pish is in behind, defending beautifully. We'll talk about a tough wicket to bat on. We're gone to 13 of 29, literally crawled there as Shaw continues bowling on that nice line and length, and all Pish can do is work in picket fences. For whatever reason, the last three wickets have been genuine dust bowls. I don't know what Cricket 22 is doing, but expect the unexpected. As Scott comes in, Pidge works this off his legs. Has he called him through for two? He certainly has, and the big 220 centimetre bean pole gets home with ease. Well, it's a wicket where you can't really play square unless the ball's super short or super wide. Scott keeping it in the channel, and he bowls one straight into Pijma's slot, and you can see, ladies and gents, this is a genuine slog. 
Beautiful backdrop at Gloucestershire. I didn't really know it looked like that, but anyway, we move on. Scott in again. Pishma gets a slow one. 113 Ks and he bangs it down the ground. And you can see the outfield slow. Has he got enough on it? I think he has. It's four. Well, there's a little bit more excitement for you. The big dog goes to 20 off 35. Tom Moore's 13 off 39. He gets the half volley this time. And one brings two, I tell you that much. Has he got enough to beat square leg? Yes, he does. Bide your time and the runs will come. That's what you get for having a shit haircut, Mr. Shaw. He comes in for the last of his ninth. He bowls on his legs again. He punches this through forward square. Three on the trot for the king. Well, if that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what does. 28 in the blink of an eye. The partnership rolls as this time he goes back and he stops to be knocked out the ground. What has done the damage and Pishma's gone. Well, we said don't go back on the dust ball. He was looking for four in a row, and now he succumbed to trash. He's off stumps out the ground and Nottingham. A 76 for four. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Didn't we leave 100 out there today? Pijma going back to a full one. Off stump, cartwheel, and 28 off 38. And the Outlaws have been knocked over for 218 in the 67th over. They've got it all ahead of them on day one. We're going to pick up play in the 13th over. Gloucester at 36 for two. The big dog has got the red pill in his hand. He's a little bit annoyed at Haseeb Hamid, but he's got his opportunity now. Let's get behind him and see what he can do. This is your moment, Piers. He got called in for an early shower, and that he did. He's got the two slips, the point in, and he's ready to rock and roll. First ball is absolutely on the money to Hammond. He goes back and defends. Well, it's a bit of an odd field. You wouldn't normally see third man go back in a four-day match, but Pijma certainly needs it. This time to Hammond, he gets worked off his hip to square leg, no run. The pace is up. The tank is full. Look at the arm swing. He's ready to go. This time a little wide to Hammond. He cuts it to point again. He's coming off a couple of wickets in the one-day final. Can he continue the momentum in the four-day format? Hammond again squeezed and finds mid-off, no run. The last ball of the big dogs first. Can he close out with a wicket? He tries to cut one back. Bracey gets forward and an after 13. Gloucester, a 37 for two. Well, I wonder how Haseeb's going to use Pishma here. Two over, three over, four over spells. He gets forward, Bracey, and he works this one through cover. Superb shot. The gap was left there. Does this grow some legs and hit the rope? Yes, it does. Well, we leave the gap at cover open. We don't mind Bracey hitting us through there. We come a little bit wider to Wayne this time, and Bracey just leaves as he gets in his grill. The last of Pijma's second. Can we test him with some sweet chin? We go short. He gets underneath it. We run straight up to him, sniff his pits. And after 15, Gloucester a 41 for two. Just the two over spell from Hamid. They lose another wicket in the meantime, but he's ready to go. He rolls in this time to the right-hander, who gets forward and defends nicely. Just wants to keep him fresh. Just bend that back and let him fly. This one gets worked into the leg side by Scott. That's what happens when you bowl 143 clicks. That batsman use the pace. They pick up a couple more. Wonder if we can get the short ball plan working to him. Oh, yes, we can. That is a rip snorter at 151 clicks. Well, I think Scotty's just shit himself a little bit. Pigeon for the last of his first in the second spell. He gets underneath. He lets it through. And after 24, Gloucester is 76 for three. Gloucester trail by 138. A real interesting time in this match. He pitches in, he hits the body. Second slip goes the London Bridge. And there's a little bit for the big red. Just what you want to see. A little bit nervous now, Big Scotty, as we come in and he gets a little loopy. Rocks back on the back, Todd. Hits it through mid-wicket. The boys come back for a couple. They take three. No, they don't. Well, that is all well and good, Mr. Scott, but have you got one for the leg? Cutter this time, it goes through. The boys make some noise. Pijma, not out.
Oh, that is a genuine peach. Come on up. No DRS, no worries. Scott gets forward and he hits the next to mid off for no run. The last ball of his fourth over and probably his second spell. It's been a good one as he gets a little tighter to Scott. He hits it to square leg right on Wayno's toes. That's where he goes. And it's 82 for three after 26. Well, well, well. Over number three in the spell, if you don't mind. He comes in first ball to Big Bracey on 49. That's what you do when the milestones come around. You let the big red at him. Now the question is, do we let him hit it through cover? We're just going to wind up and let him go, and that we do. He says, thank you very much, Pishma Pen. I'll get myself to 50, then I'll get myself to 51. I'll raise the bat and thank you very much. Well, 50 for Bracey off 67 rocks. Credit where credit is due. We get the leg cutter going this time. We go through him like a hot curry. Well bowled. The Outlaws are making it nice and hostile for Gloucester at their home ground. Can we get the off cutter going that we can? Bracey hits it with the full face. He's in good nick. 28 bowled and it's 89 for three. Three, then he spelled us, and the Outlaws pick up a wicket. 113 for four on return as Pidge gets nice and full to Scott. And there's the London Bridge. What on earth is going on? Pidge has to go and chase his own ball. Get out of the way! None for 14 off 6.5. Lace none off 11. Pij Marin, he gets across. He works it to square leg. The pressure continues to build as Gloucester go to 120 for four. We continue the ball fest to lace. None of 14. In on the legs, and this time we let him off the hook. That is a trash delivery, Pijma Pant. And he gets clipped off the legs for a couple. Well, generally speaking, that gets met with a how do you do. Pidge goes upstairs and Lace gets underneath it, and he just looks at him, sniffs him, and says, your next dog. The second slip goes out into a short cover and the infielders are pushed up a little tighter as Pidge gets short. What is the keeper doing? Get out of it, Tommy Moores, and it goes for four buys. What on earth is the keeper doing? Has he been smoking at tea? I don't know. As this happens again and this time he looks stressed. Every run absolutely vital both ways here. Pijma in, he gets late cut by Lace to the man at third. He throws it in, keeps it at one. Score goes to one, five, five for five. So Hasib with a couple of headaches here. How does he go about it? Pijma gets work through cover. Oh boy, what are the fielders doing? I tell you what, get off it, boys. It is not happening. This time Pij concedes three and he's disappointed, man. Well, surely Hasib has lost the locker room. You can't have this bloke bowling 10 overs for 22 when they're 192 for five. The first ball's putrid. Maybe that's a shove it up, you Hasiba. Huh? We don't mind it. He's got a little bit about him, this red dog. Well, it is a tough day if you pish my pant. Rolls in for the last and he goes through Higgins. Beautifully well bowled, Pish. The Gloucester trail by 18. Five wickets in hand as there's another player missing. You can just smell the momentum here. Well, there's two that have floated past his back. Can third time lucky bring the edge? It does, and it gets squeezed backward of point. Oh, that's unlucky, and it goes all the way for four. Well, there's the lead to Gloucester. Up by three with four wickets in hand. Pidge continues to bend the back, roll the shoulder, and put in a shift for the boys. How on earth will he pick up a wicket here? Oh, that is a good shot. That is crispy from Mr. Higgins. He punches Pidge down the ground. Shot of the episode so far, and it's four. Well, that is painful for Pidge. Comes in again. Oh, he's beaten Higgins all ends up. Honestly, how many play and misses, man? Just hit the edge. Oh, he finds the middle of the bat, and Higgins is going to come through and pick up probably two or three more. This is starting to bleed for the big dog. The Smith nut off 15. Oh, we wrap him on the pads. How was that one way, though? Come on, big fella. Pishman doesn't appear. He says not out. Well, boy, oh boy, oh boy, surely this was close. It pitched in line, it hits him in line, and it misses by a mile. 
Well, the LBW was the least of the man's worries. We resume in the 111th over Gloucester, 347 for eight, and it is absolutely on now. A lead by 129. D Payne, 24 off 70. Just burying the outlaws here as we go to hit his toes. French cut for four. Oh, throw your toys out the pram, boys. Full tank, full pace. Oh, and D Payne whips this off his legs. Surely it's down third. Fine, Megs. He's dropped it. What are you doing, you idiot? Well, I tell you what. It just doesn't get any worse than this. We try our best. It gets whipped down a fine leg. He doesn't get a hand on it. You absolute idiot, Luke Fletcher. Oh, d Payne comes back for a couple more. What have we got this time for him? Oh, he steps around. Does he do it again? Fletcher take it this time, and he does. Pishman's got one finally, and Gloucester are out for 353. Well, boy, oh boy, did we need that for the Big Reds' confidence. Gloucester out in the 113th over. Ryan Higgins stepping it up and batting Nottinghamshire. Almost out the game with 123. We're going to pick up play in the 42nd over. Finally, the top order have also put their foot down. They've dug in a little bit. And Nottinghamshire finally lead by five runs. Can the Big Reds start to capitalize and give his boys a total to bowl? That will catch him out in the middle. Linny comes, partnered with Hasib Hamid. Pijma Pant, this is your time. Jay Warner, one for two off his 2.4. The ring field as in, and he comes in. Pij first ball just steps on this. He takes off, almost wants to run Hasib out. The cover fieldsman goes to his left, and they get down the other end for one. Well, the finger spinner comes straight into the attack. They can certainly smell Pijma wanting to counter-attack here. He comes in and Pij tries a reverse Malaka first ball. And that, we see a change in the field. Four men go out and they're just going to give Pij one. And he steps on that nicely. Gets past short cover. Does he call Hasib through for two? No, he's not that much of a dog. Well, if the finger spinner's going to operate from one end, we need to counter-attack the pace from the other. This time, Warner does does Pijma gets forward hits it's a point for a dot ball the lead is 10 I'd be confident in getting 200 up against this Gloucester lineup short ball in Pijma plays and misses out bold for 28 in the first dig you know he's got a couple of demons lingering big Pij he gets a length ball this time and he bangs it through extra cover you'd probably think he'd hit it through square leg but he's got enough meat on that and it goes to the boundary for four we certainly enjoy tasting boundaries, but just like the first dig, we can't get caught up in it. 149 for three. Sees Warner get a little tighter to Pijma, and he leans on this again. Oh, maybe he just wants more and more. This one picks up some legs, and the boys only pick up two. Well, look who it is. Ryan Higgins, the century maker. He's none for 39 off 10.1, and we'll continue the onslaught here. Pijma gets one right in his slot. Ryan Higgins, you are a spud. Get back to the top of your run-up, you dog. Well, there you go. You can have a taste of your own medicine, son. That he does. He lengthens up again. I tell you what, did you not learn your lesson the first time, you idiot? We punch him through extra cover again, and there is four more. Just like that. 16 off 12. Short cover goes in. Couple of slips, and Piz just continues to play through the V. This is good from the big dog. Well, he's been defined as a star member of this Outlaws squad. So you know the international call-up isn't too far away as he plays and misses at this 46 bowl. The Outlaws are one five nine for three. This continues. None for 61 off 13.4. We crawl to 30 off 34. He gets a short one and Piz just dinks his down a third man through gully. Oh, it doesn't matter where you bowl it, Mr. Higgins. Get back to the pub. Sort your shit out. Does it go for four? It doesn't. Do we call C back for four? That we do. It's good running. Well, momentum has shifted. It really has. We lead by 50. The last ball, the 52nd. Pidge puts his bat through it. It's a dot ball to mid off. And the Nottinghamshire Outlaws go to 185 for three. So Smitty back into the attack. Leg slip, first slip. 
Man out at deep backward. Pish looking to sweep early doors. He gets onto this. And he just takes the single out to backward square. Smith continuing. Pish got the reverse Malacca in him. That he does. And he hits it right on point, ladies and gents. That is shot of the episode. Well, I think we've found our new shot here. Really looking to go 360 degrees. Can we go the more conventional one? Pish gets the slog sweep out if you don't mind. Bang that shit over backwards square. And he's got four more. Oh, yes. Don't bowl there, brother. You're going to get hammered. The reverse malaka, the conventional malaka. What you got this time? Oh, he goes again. Thank you very much. That is superb cricket. Well, he brings up the 200 in absolutely no time. The lead is 68. Pijma gets the sweep, and that is an adjustment you just needed to see in the second innings. You don't long barrier the big dog, and he moves to 49. One away from another 50. Smith continues one for 57 off 13. Have we got what it takes? He digs one in to the pitch. We sweep it backward of square. Pijma Pant, you are a superstar, brother. That's 50 off 47. Get your bat in the air. Well, we said we wanted a lead of 200. Hamid just anchoring beautifully. I never thought I'd say that. Warner looking tired as he goes outside the line of off, and we play and miss. Nice little reality check for everyone involved. Big Wayne standing central. We love his work as the short ball comes in, and we did not pick that one at all. The lead is 86. Still only the one man out as Shaw rolls in. He bowls length and Pish steps across, says, hey, this is the time I'm going to start to put me foot down. And he clips this beautifully for four more bickies. Was well, the batting collapse real? I don't know. But Pish looks like he's going to put his foot down as he clips this one to fine leg. One and one bounce and he gets one more picket fence to his score. We know we left plenty out there in the first dig. We made up for it in the second dig. There's a reverse Malacca. You shouldn't even run, Pish. That is a superb cricket shot. D Payne left arm around the wicket. The 100 partnership comes up. The lead's 106. He gets short and Pidge looks to hook him over. Square leg for six. He doesn't get all of it. He just gets one to fine leg. Well, the intent is clear with the short ball. Does he get another one? That he does. And this one goes straight through him. 107 the lead. Shaw bending his back. Pishman this time goes bang. Does it go over fine leg? It doesn't. And he's gone. Pijma Pan has put it down fine legs throat. He succumbed to the trap. Oh boy, he got three bounces in a row. He couldn't get all of it. And fine leg takes a good catch overhead. And just like that, Shaw and his shit haircut removed Pijma Pan. It is lights out as he walks off the ground for 68. And it's four for 242. Well, we put the foot down and the boys followed. 84 overs it took for Nottingham to be knocked over for 303. And it gave us a lead of that magic 150. We spoke about getting there. We got there. And now the match is ours to lose. We're picking up play in the 10th over Gloucester. In very much a same position they were in the first dig when Pijma come on to bowl. They're 30 for two. They need 138 to win. This is going to be a grandstand finish if Pish has anything to do with it. Lock yourselves in, ladies and gents. The Outlaws are on the loose. Marcus Harris, Pish Pant, and a dream. He rolls in for his first ball in the second dig. It's the evening sesh on day three as Harris gets forward and he bunts it to forward point. No run. Can he take the confidence with the bat into his bowling? He hasn't taken proper wickets for a while as he gets straight to Harris and he plays through the V. This is the wicket. Marcus Harris, the Australian opener. Pish Marini finds the edge. Oh, boy. Finally, we had a fourth slip in and he picks up a boundary down to third man. 
Well, that was almost the moment. Can we find another slight edge? We get the cutter going. He looks to slash. He gets nothing from it. Tenor Bolden, Gloucestershire, a 34 for two. Slight change in field. Second slip becomes third slip. Yep, I am that guy. We go in again. Harris gets forward and defends this time. Well, we don't know how long the spell's going to be. We don't know if Hasib's going to trust us. So we've just got to give everything as we roll into Marcus Harris again and we dot him up. A much tidier second over from Pige. No runs conceded. Marcus Harris not knowing what to do. And we go through him like that hot curry and it's 36 for two after 12. Well, whatever we are doing, it is working. Hasib gives us a third over. So we look to hit Marcus Harris's toes. We've been tight so far. Just takes a couple of French cuts to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's four. Well, we leave cover open. That's all good. But you're getting some chin music. Marcus Harrison, he takes it on. You don't bowl short to him. He murders a square. And that is back-to-back -back boundaries for the Australian opener. Well, that was a nice cricket shot. So what does Pijma do? He goes short again. Bends his back. Harris goes back. He defends. Pij just runs at him, kicks him, spits on him, does everything. That's the end of the 14th, and it's 50 for two. Well, 50 for two becomes 50 for three. You've just got to believe as Harris goes back and defends. Well, I don't know if Hasib's trying to kill us here or not. We're coming in for over number five, if you don't mind. It's a little slower, a little cuttier. And G. Scott goes back and clips it to square leg. Well, it's a wicket or nothing. We've just got to roll the wrist and try our best. Scott clips this off his legs, gets off the mark down a fine leg and takes the score to 58 for three. The last ball of Pijma's fifth over. He's got none for 14. Can we sneak Harris off? Oh, we've knocked him over. The stump is out the ground. Pijma gives the boy some hope. Thank you very much. That is a peach. Harris is bold, and the Outlaws have got him four for 58. Lay him straight. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We knew this bloke could turn the match. He's gone and got the number one bat out as he gets into Lace, who clips it to square leg, and it is game on. Well, Marcus Harris is off. Stump is out the ground, and the game is Nottingham's. Pishma in to lace for his first ball, and he works at forward of square for a dot. He's got a quarter of a tank left. This is pure heart from the big red. He rolls in, takes some pace off this, and lace lets it through. And would you read about it? Pishma's been taken off for the rest of the match. Hasib Hamid, what are you doing, you dickhead man? He takes Pishma off and Gloucester get the runs in the 50th over 169 for seven the boys end up winning by three runs and I tell you what you get stripped of the captaincy decisions get made and it ultimately leads to major owls what is going on in Nottingham well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. It was another roller coaster. I know I say it every single episode, but boy, we have some dramas in the leadership group. Hasib Hamid, you've lost your head, brother. I know you made 80 in the second dig, but boy, you need to sort it out. Pishma needs a captain's armband, and these Nottingham lads need to get back to their winning ways, I tell you. If you have enjoyed the video, though, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment comment down below make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well but until the next one ladies and gents look after yourselves and those around you and i'll catch you in the next one